der her for over i Der kan være bunden og varmeskål, der kan også være lidt. Hej og velkommen til The Copenhagen Suburbicals Workshop. Today it's January 31st and as you can see behind me there's a lot of activity going on. We are working right now the entire team to to be re be ready to test our new BPM5 engine. Uh, and if you join me I'll take you around the workshop and show you what we are working on. Here we're looking at the test stand for the BPM5 engine and the test stand is right now being finalized. You can see we are installing the base plates uh, for the tank section and later on uh, we will actually mount the actual tanks. Uh, the guys uh, over here are, are right now working on the tanks and the, uh, and the fittings uh, for, the, for the tanks so that we can install the, uh, the engine. Before we assemble all the tubings for the, for the tank sections and all the inlet tubes for the engine, it's very important that everything is in order. So today, uh, two of our best welders have been working on, uh, on aligning everything, checking everything and making sure that every little part of the, of the, the tubing section for the engine was okay. They have done some, some test welds to find out precisely how much heat and how much gas they should use to make the weldings uh, perfect. Right now we are aligning everything and then in a few days the guys will come back here and, and weld everything up so that we are ready to, to assemble it. When we are welding these tubes together, uh, we have the problem that they are pressurized and we cannot uh, examine the welding after we have welded it. So we have to make some tests and uh, we do this very simple with uh, some similar tubes uh, we cut up and uh, weld together with different methods. And then we analyze it by uh, destructive uh, uh, measurements. We, we cut it up and we uh, analyze the welding on the inside until we have found the correct setting on the uh, welding equipment and uh, the correct way of moving the TIG welder uh, until we are completely satisfied with the welding. And then we proceed with welding these together with exactly the same procedure as we have found out. When we're welding in um, the stainless steel, we have to use uh, shielding gas. Uh, from the outside, it is argon. And from the inside, we use uh, formia gas which is a mixture of uh, nitrogen and uh, a little bit of hydrogen. This is done to prevent that the weldings on the inside will be uh, burned and uh, as a result we have a completely clear welding inside.
both aluminum tanks that were originally designed for the testing the TM65 uh, rocket engine. Today we have taken this tank a little bit apart, we have removed the insulation and we are starting to rebuild it because we need it uh, as a water test tank for the BPM5 rocket engine. This tank is going to be uh, pressurized and filled partly with water and then we would use it to, to, uh, to flow water uh, through the injector system to measure its characteristics at, at different uh, flow values. This is some, uh, some repurposing of, uh, of old hardware, the, uh, the actuators from the, uh, the static test of V2X. We are repurposing them for uh, the injector flow test setup. So this will be used to, to, to put water through our, the injector for BPM5. We are going down to the VTC3 test stand to uh, dismount the flame deflector and pull it out. Then we are going to test fit the BPM5 test cell, which is uh, in the finishing stages right now. What we are building here is uh, mock-up ca capsules of uh, TDS-3. Uh, we are building it so we can find out uh, how the interior is going to work with, with, a, with our astronaut inside. Det er 